Good evening, everyone. In the last session, we understood what is a Lambda expression and what is functional interface and how to invoke the lambdas by using functional interfaces. Lambda expressions introduced in Java 1.8 version. Earlier, Java is called as only object-oriented programming language. From Java 8 onwards, functional programming support also added to the Java. Here, lambdas. Lambda nothing but one anonymous function. Lambda is nothing but one anonymous function. No name, no modifier, no return type for the lambda. When we write a lambda expression, to call that lambda expression, we are going to use functional interface. So what is your functional interface? The interface which contains only one abstract method is called as functional interface. Functional interfaces are used to invoke the lambda expressions. Functional interface can contain any number of default methods and static methods. You can take any number of default methods and static methods, but there should be only one abstract method in the functional interface. Functional interfaces are used to invoke Lambda expressions. Good. Now, next thing is in Java 1.8 version, they provided several predefined functional interfaces like predicate, consumer, supplier, and function. So these are some predefined functional interfaces which are available in the 1.8. We are learning these functional interfaces to understand our stream API. In the stream API, lot of methods they introduced. So to work with the stream API methods, we need to have the knowledge on these functional interfaces. Yesterday, we had discussed about one functional interface that is predicate. What is predicate? Predicate is a predefined functional interface. It is used to check the condition and it returns true or false value. Predicate is used for conditional checking. Now, I want to write the logic to check a condition and return true or false. Instead of writing a separate method for that, we can write a lambda. And to call that lambda, we can go for predicate. To call that lambda, we can go for predicate. In the predicate interface, there is a test method. In the predicate interface, there is a test method. Test method when you call here, whatever the lambda I'm writing, lambda I'm storing into a variable. Guys, can we store method to a variable? In the Java, we can write the methods, right? Can we store a method to the variable? Can we store method in the variable in the Java? Is it possible to store a method in the variable? No. But can we store lambda into a variable? Can we store lambda into a variable? Yes. A lambda can be stored into a variable, but a method cannot be stored into variable. So here I'm writing a lambda. That lambda I stored into a variable. Then to execute that lambda, I called that method. I stored that lambda into functional interface variable. When I call that functional interface method, that lambda expression got executed that will return true or false value. Then we have taken one task on the predicate, declare names in the array and print the names which are starting with A using lambda expression. Print the names, print the names using lambda expression. Declare the array with the names. So in that names, which names are having the First character as A, only those names we have to print by using Lambda. So here, our Lambda should take the name as an input and it should check name is starting with the character A or not. Yes. So this is our program. I have declared one name array. Names array I have declared. I stored some names in that. Then I have written a Lambda expression. Name, this is the input for the Lambda and name dot caret of double equal to A. It will check the condition. If the condition satisfies, it will return true. If the condition not satisfy, it will return false value. This array inputs names available in the array. One by one, I am giving as the input for the lambda and I am calling that lambda expression by using predicate. I am writing a for each loop. Inside that, I am taking each name. For each name, I am calling p dot test of name. p dot test of name. So here it is going to call that lambda whenever you call the test method with the name. 
if the lambda condition satisfy it will return true that means the name is starting with a if the name is starting with a then it is going to print that name otherwise it will not print that name otherwise it will not print that name are you clear with my point are you clear with my point how we have written the lambda expression for that are you clear with my point able to understand able to understand good fine okay with this we are able to understand this now let me take one more example this time my requirement is different this time my requirement is different task 2 task 2 take list of persons and print persons whose age is greater than or equal to 18 using lambda expression take list of persons and print persons whose age is greater than or equal to 18 using lambda expression now i'm going to give you one class called person that person will have name and age integer string name is available string name available int age is available okay i'm going to write a constructor for the person to initialize that string name int age string name int age this dot name is equal to name and this dot age is equal to age so like this i'm giving you one person class now you need to take list of persons and you need to print persons whose age is greater than or equal to 18 using lambda expression can you guys write the logic now can you guys write the logic yeah write the logic and send me on the chat box write the logic and send me in the chat box come on completed guys yeah let us see here let me create that project predicate demo person demo predicate persons demo now in this class i'm going to declare a class called person in normal class yeah here i have already written that logic na no? let me take this person class in the person class i have declared two variables 
one is a name variable second one is age variable and i have taken a constructor in the constructor two parameters available and i'm initializing that here i'm taking a predicated person demo i'm taking a main method i'm taking a main method let me create a list of persons person p1 is equal to new person person p1 is equal to new person person is expecting name and expecting age some 26 like this i'm going to create four persons p1 p2 p3 p4 okay this person is having age as 16 this person is having 36 this person is just a six okay guys so there are four persons available four person objects are available let me store these persons into one collection arrays dot as list method p1 comma p2 comma p3 comma p4 so there are four persons available these are stored into one collection so arrays dot as list method will take the objects and will convert into a collection now i have a collection can you tell me how to write the lambda to print the persons whose name is greater whose age is greater than or equal to 18. i want you to print the persons whose age is greater than or equal to 18. how to do that how to do that very simple right now i will write a lambda p p dot age p of p dot age greater than or equal to 18 that's it store into predicate in the predicate i am specifying that person is the input for the predicate person object is the input for the predicate so here i'm writing a predicate this predicate is taking person object as an input i'm specifying that as a generic this is the input object p is a input person object once this person object is given as input it will execute this condition person age is greater than or equal to 18 or not if age is greater than or equal to 18 then it will return true otherwise it will return false value for person person colon persons if if predicate dot test predicated dot test of p if it is true system dot out dot print ln p dot name that means p nothing but person person dot name i'm going to print it can i call this is my lambda can i call this is my lambda Yes or no? Yes. Here I had taken one class called person class, two variables available. I have taken a parameter as a constructor. And I have taken a predicate person demo. Here I am representing four person objects. Four person objects converted to one collection. Then I have taken a predicate. Predicate P, if age greater than or equal to 18, then that predicate should return true, otherwise, return false. This lambda I have written to decide person age is 18 or not. That lambda I stored into predicate. Then I am trying to call the predicate for each person object in the collection. There are four person objects available. I am iterating the persons by using for each method. By using for each method, then I'm going to I'm going to call this predicate method for each person for each person available in the collection now if a predicate dot test whenever i call this line 32 line it is going to call this lambda lambda will give true or false if it is true person age is greater than 18 then print it otherwise don't print it here i'm giving the name as john smith smith raja and rani so i have given different different names for the people and i'm trying to call that lambda run this run as java application john having 26 raja having 36 what about smith and rani their age is not greater than 18 so their names are not coming are we able to pass one object as a input for the lambda are we able to check the condition 
are we able to are we able to pass one person object as a input for the lambda are we able to check the condition yes arrays dot as list is a method it is used to convert given values into one collection object arrays dot as list arrays is a predefined class in that as list is a method whatever the inputs you will give for as list method it will store into collection object it will store them into collection object samjha all of you clear with my point p is a person object guys p is a person object p dot age i am accessing the age of the person if age is greater than or equal to 18 then it will return true if age is not greater than 18 it will return false this is a lambda expression here persons is a collection from persons collection i am taking each person each person i am passing as the input for the predicate test method when we call predicate test method this lambda will execute it will give true or false if it is true i am printing the name of the person if it is not true i am not printing my requirement is print the names of the persons whose age is greater than or equal to 18 that is the requirement so we are able to implement that requirement are we able to understand very good now here next one is predicate joining there is a concept called predicate joining i want to perform and operation and or operation so here currently we are writing a predicate a single predicate and we are checking a condition then what about predicate joining to combine multiple predicates we will use predicate joining i want to check person age should be greater than 18 and person should be from hyderabad location person name should start with r and age should be greater than 18 then i want to print that person predicate joining predicate joining to combine to combine more than one predicate to combine multiple predicates i can say to combine multiple predicates we will use predicate joining to combine multiple predicates we will use predicate joining are you guys clear with my point now we have and method and we have or method in the predicate to combine multiple predicates we are going to use predicate joining okay now i want to get the employees who are working in hyderabad location and working in the dba team or database team if the person if the person is working in hyderabad location and the person is belongs to database team only that person i want i will give you one scenario task print print employee names who are working in hyd location for database team who are working in hyd location in db team that's it so this is my class i'm giving employee inside this class i will give you some name string name string location and string department that's it i'm giving employees like this i'm going to give you employee like this now print emp names who are working in hvd location in db team in db team now here guys we need to check one condition or we need to check two conditions we need to check one condition or we need to check two conditions two conditions so we need to use one predicate or we need to use two predicates we need to use one predicate or we need to use two predicates we need to use two 
predicates and predicate or are predicate and predicate or are predicate and predicate now let's go for this predicate join demo new class predicate join demo in this i'm going to take employee class to represent employee data i'm taking employee class which is used to represent employee data and i need a parameter the constructor to store the data employee i will take three parameters this dot sorry string name string name string location and string department initialize these variables this dot name is equal to name this dot location is equal to location this dot department is equal to department okay guys now let me create three employee objects and let me store the data in the collection main method main method create the employee objects employee e1 is equal to new employee employee e1 is equal to new employee for this employee i'm giving the name something like raju and raju location is chennai and department is working in the devops okay similarly let me take other employees also raju rani he is she is working in pune and she is working in networking networking now here ashok and working from hyderabad and working for db okay next one is some ganesh is working from delhi and he is working in testing okay guys now here i have employees e1 e2 e3 and e4 from these employees i want to find out the employees who are working in hyderabad location in the database team in the database department okay first these employees should be converted into one collection how to convert them into collection arrays dot as list e1 comma e2 comma e3 comma e4 now store these employees into one collection emps now can you write a lambda to satisfy our requirement can you write a lambda to satisfy our requirement can you write a lambda to satisfy our requirement come on guys can you write the lambda to satisfy our requirement come on one predicate or two predicates what is the requirement print emp names who are working in hvd location in the tb team simple first let me take one predicate predicate what is input for the predicate employee p1 is equal to p of p dot sorry p1 or e1 predicate 1 for the predicate what is the input we need to provide guys employee e dot location dot equals to hyd this is one predicate e dot location dot equals e dot location means what is the location of the employee is that location equal to hyd or not and the second one second predicate predicate of employee p2 second predicate i am passing input as employee object e dot department if department dot equals to database then i want it okay can i say that these are two predicates one predicate is used to check the location 
and another predicate is used to check the department when i execute this lambda you see here e is a input for the lambda i can say like this but writing the brackets is optional right when there is only one parameter for the lambda writing the bracket is optional okay here e is a input for the predicate i mean input for the lambda my lambda expression will take employee object as a input and it will check the condition it will return true or false value similarly second predicate it will take the employee object as a input it will execute this condition if condition satisfy it will return true otherwise it will return false value okay this is my second predicate there are two predicates available now p1 dot and p2 p1 dot and p2 right p1 and p2 so here i'm calling that p1 and p2 i'm joining the predicates okay this is my final predicate final predicate now i'm going to call p dot test of e employee i need to pass the employee object here i'm passing p1 and i'm passing p2 and i'm combining the predicates by using predicate joining so this is my predicate joining so p1 and p2 p1 should satisfy that means p1 predicate will execute this condition it should return true then p2 will execute p2 will execute this lambda it will return true if p1 and p2 both are true then only test method will return true now let me go for employee objects for employee e emps now here let me call the final predicate p dot test of employee object p dot test of employee object if p dot test of employee is satisfied then system dot out dot print ln e dot name e dot name now let me run this program run as java application only ashok is coming because from hyd in the database only ashok is working okay suppose if ganesh is also in the hyd ganesh record will come or ganesh record will not come will not come because ganesh is working in the testing department my predicate is expecting my predicate is expecting database department Come on, guys. Are you able to understand what is predicate joining? Are you guys able to understand what is predicate joining? First of all, what is predicate? What is predicate? Can you tell me? what is predicate predicate is a functional interface what is the predicate functional interface what is the purpose of predicate interface functional interfaces are used to call the lambda expressions functional interfaces are used to call the lambda expressions here i have a requirement of i have a requirement of checking two conditions i will give you list of employees you need to print the names of the employees who are working in hyderabad in the database department okay to check whether employee belongs to hyderabad location or not i'm writing one predicate and to check whether employee working in the database department or not i'm writing another predicate p1 p2 p1 is one predicate which will check the location p2 is one predicate which will check the department now i want to execute 
two predicates if two predicates are satisfied then only we can say that employee working in the database department from hyderabad location p1 and p2 we are combining those predicates that is called predicate joining in the earlier program what we have done we have directly written the lambda and we directly call that lambda by using predicate but today we want to execute two predicates at a time that's why we have joined that predicates by using predicate and method suppose if the person is belongs to hyderabad or if he is working in the database i want that then if any one condition satisfied then i want to print the employee name then what we can do can i go for r method if i go for p1 and r of p2 if i go for p1 and r of p2 run this program then what happened either hyderabad location or a database team member i want to print it like this if you want to combine more than one predicate if you want to combine multiple predicates then you can go for predicate joining predicate joining and method or methods are available okay guys if you have three predicates same concept here p1 dot and of p2 and p3 like this you can add three predicates also you can add four predicates also no problem okay guys now i want to write one more predicate if the person names start with the upper case character a then only i want it p3 department of db department right name e dot name starts with the character a character a now how many predicates i am joining now how many predicates i am joining now suppose here anil is available anil is available p1 and p2 and p3 okay here ganesh is also working for database team anil is there rani is there ashok is there ganesh is there there are two people in the database department in the hyd location okay now if i execute this what output i am going to get check my predicates p1 dot and p2 and p3 p1 p2 p3 three predicates i am joining three predicates i am joining understand my point understand my point what is the output what output i am going to get run as java application only ashok is coming hyderabad location database team name starts with character a ganesh ashok both are in the database team from hyderabad but it is not coming ganesh record is not coming because name should start with the character a then only i want to get that these kind of questions they will ask in the interview to write the code they will tell you can you please write the lambda expression for the given scenario they will give you a scenario like this you need to write the lambda and you need to call the lambda if your lambda logic is to decide true or false if your lambda logic is to check the condition true or false then you can call that lambda by using predicate if you want to execute only one condition you can go for a predicate if you want to execute more than one condition more than one predicate then you can go for predicate joining predicate joining is having and method and r methods i hope you understood what is predicate joining you understood what is predicate joining samjha okay so what are the methods we have seen in the predicate interface predicate interface what are the methods we have seen we have seen test method we have seen and method and we have seen r method what is the purpose of and method to add predicates to join one predicate with the another predicate we'll go for a predicate and method what is the purpose of r method that is also used to join one predicate with the another predicate when you use and all the predicates should satisfy when you use r at least if one predicate satisfied it will return true 
test method to execute the predicate predicate interface is a functional interface which is used to execute the lambda that lambda is conditional based to lambda if any lambda is a conditional based to lambda to execute that lambda then we are going to use we are going to use this predicate in the predicate only test is the abstract method remaining are the default methods because functional interface means there should be only one abstract method na? only test is the abstract method and and r methods are the default methods in the predicate interface directly we can call them good perfect next one after predicate there is a another there is a another functional interface which is called supplier supplier functional interface is available supplier functional interface is available supplier functional interface this is also one predefined functional interface this is also one predefined functional interface okay guys supplier supplier is a predefined functional interface introduced in java 1.8 version 1.8 version it contains only one abstract method only one abstract method that is get method that is get method supplier interface will not take any input supplier interface will not take any input it will only it will only returns the value it will only returns the value okay what is the meaning of a predicate predicate will take one input and a predicate will take one input and a predicate will check the condition will return true or false similarly there is a one more functional interface there is one more functional interface which is called a supplier supplier is a predefined functional interface introduced in java 1.8 version it contains only one abstract method that is get method now what is the difference between predicate and supplier predicate will take the input will return the boolean value supplier will not take anything but it will give the output supplier is only used to get the data not to give the data supplier is only used to get the data not to give any not to take any data it will only give the data for example i want to generate one random otp to generate a random otp i need to write a lambda expression i want to return the lambda expression to generate one random otp okay so to generate the random otp we can use we can use this supplier so i want to write a lambda which will give me some output without taking any input in that scenario we can go for supplier okay guys supplier is a predefined functional interface introduced in java 1.8 version it contains only one abstract method only one abstract method that is get method it contains only one abstract method that is get method supplier interface will not take any input it will only returns the value example example generate example otp generation otp generation now let me go for a logic supplier demo new class i'm going to take the class as supplier demo now i want to write a lambda which will not take any input but it will give some output no input but output will be there then we will go for this predicate are you getting my point are you getting my point i want to generate one random otp i want to generate one random otp so to generate the random otp first i am going to take first i am going to take string symbols symbols i want to take it from a to z a b c d e f g h i j k l m n o p q 
R S T U V W X Y Z. Right. I have taken some symbols, like some characters. From these characters, I want to generate one OTP, random OTP, random characters. For this, I want to use a predict. I want to use a lambda. I want to write the lambda expression. I want to write the lambda expression for this. Understand my point. I want to write the lambda expression for this. Okay. How to write the lambda by using supplier. Can you tell me first of all, what is a supplier? Can you tell me what is a supplier? Can you tell me what is a supplier? What is supplier? Come on. I will write a lambda which will execute some logic and will return some data as the output, not only random value, anything. My lambda will execute some logic, will return some output but it will not take any input. Supplier means just it will provide the output. It will not take any input. If you are Lambda having a requirement of without taking any input, it will give some output. Right? Without input, it will just return the output. That is called supplier. Okay, let me go for this. Let me go for this. Let me remove these symbols also, no problem. Let me write a supplier. Let me write a lambda first. No input for the lambda, just body will be available. No input for the lambda, only body. I'm writing a loop for integer i is equal to zero, or i is equal to one, i less than or equal to five, i plus plus. I want five digit OTP, okay. I want to five digit OTP. Now here, I'm going to take five digit OTP here. Now, how to take this five digit OTP? How to take this five digit OTP? See here, first I'm taking string OTP is equal to empty. Now I'm going to give OTP is equal to OTP plus, OTP is equal to OTP plus math dot random math dot random i want to get some random number multiplied by 10 i want to get some random number multiplied by 10 let me convert this into into value let me convert this into into value so now here i'm calling math dot random some random number it will give i'm multiplying by 10 i'm giving that to integer that will be added to this string otp so this is my lambda which will generate a random otp with uh, five digits. Now, in order to call this lambda, we need a functional interface. This is my lambda. In order to call this lambda, we need a functional interface. That's where we will go for supplier. I'm going to take supplier as a lambda. Caller. Supplier interface I'm using here. Supplier is my functional interface. Supplier is my functional interface. Are you guys clear with my point? Here, this method must return a result of that. Now, once it is done, return OTP. This supplier functional interface, I'm using to call this lambda expression. I'm using this to call the lambda expression. Okay. Now, final string OTP is equal to OTP of this, it is saying that remove final modifier for OTP. Now it should be local variable of OTP in the enclosing scope must be final or effectively final. Now this should be available inside this OTP. Okay. I'm writing a lambda. This lambda is executing. A loop is executing in the lambda. I'm taking a random number and I'm trying to add that to the string 
I'm returning this. Now let me go for system dot out dot print ln yes dot get. Whatever the lambda I have taken to generate a five digit number, five digit OTP, I want to generate by using lambda. For that, I have written some logic. So to call the lambda, we need a functional interface. So this lambda I stored it into supplier interface reference variable. Supplier interface is having which method? It is having a get method. So whenever I call this get method, it is going to execute this lambda. This lambda will return the OTP. Now let me run this program. Run as Java application. Can you check the console? Can you check the console? System dot out dot print ln yes dot get. Are we getting any output? Yes dot get. I'm calling the get method. It has to return that value, right? It has to return that value. Is it returning that value? We are getting all zeros. Run as Java application. We are getting all zeros. Why it is giving all zeros? Can you check that? Lambda is called int i is equal to one math dot random. Initially it is empty, empty plus integer of math dot random. If I don't give this simply. <coughs> Still all zeros. Int of math dot random. It is giving zero of zero of zero. Whenever we call math dot random of that OTP, it is giving that value with a decimal number. So let me let me divide that. Let me multiply that with the ten. To remove the decimal numbers. <coughs> yeah, now we are getting the decimal value. To change that decimal value, let me type cast it into normal int value. If I don't multiply with the 10 now, random is giving a decimal value. Random is giving a decimal value. Run as Java application. Now we are getting the perfect digit whatever we are expecting random. So here I'm executing the loop for five times. Five times it is give five. I'm executing the loop for five times to add five random digits to the OTP. Okay, guys. Now let me call this method once again. Three times I'm calling. Every time new OTP should be generated. When I call three times, three different OTPs generated. For your mobile OTP will come right. How that OTP will be generated? Like this we can generate that OTP. Understand? Am I giving any input for the lambda? Am I giving any input for the lambda? Or I'm not giving any input for the lambda. I'm not giving any input for the lambda, but my lambda is returning some value. What is the value which is returning by lambda? My lambda is generating a OTP and it is returning that OTP. How many digits are coming in the OTP? Five digits. If I want six digits in the OTP, I will execute the loop for six times. Run as Java application. Now see. Six digits OTP generated. Three OTPs I generated. Three OTPs are different. If I generate 10 OTPs also, all OTPs will be different. Every OTP will be unique. Run this program. Run as Java application. Now you see, I have generated six OTPs. Six OTPs, any one OTP matching with other OTP? Any one OTP which matching with other OTP? Not matching. I have generated a OTP by using lambda. That lambda is not taking any input, but lambda returning some value. When your lambda expression will not expect any input, but it returns some output, 
to invoke that lambda we can go for supplier we can go for a concept called supplier concept are you able to understand this are you able to understand this what is the difference between predicate and supplier what is the difference between predicate and supplier Why I am multiplying this math math dot random is used to generate some random number. Instead of this, we can check math dot math dot random. Math dot random is giving some decimal value. So the decimal value I want to remove the digits. That's why I'm multiplying with a ten. Then I'm converting into into value so that a digit will come. A digit will come. Take a guys. Run as Java application. Now OTPs are generated. my lambda is not taking anything my lambda is not taking anything but it is giving some output predicate is a conditional base predicate will take the input will check the condition will return true or false but supplier supplier means it will just supply the output without any input supplier will just provide the output without any input understood predicate will take the input supplier will not take any input good similarly there is a another functional interface available which is a consumer it is opposite of supplier consumer it will take input but it will not give any output consumer interface will take the input but it will not give any output supplier without taking input it is giving output simple example i want to retrieve the records from the database all the records from the database so can i use a supplier for that i want to retrieve all the records from the database table without giving any input can i retrieve all the records from the table yes or no we can go for supplier right yes without taking any input it will retrieve the records and it is going to give all the data yeah this is symbols we can remove guys not required i'm not using that i'm generating otp so characters are not required i want to retrieve all the records from the database table i want to retrieve all the records from the database table should i go for a predicate should i go for a predicate to retrieve all the records from the database table no what predicate will do it will just uh, take the input check the condition return the output okay good next one consumer what is the purpose of consumer consumer is a predefined consumer is a predefined functional interface okay what is consumer consumer is a predefined functional interface it contains it contains one abstract method it contains one abstract method that is accept it is having only one abstract method that is accept it will take the input but it will not give any output consumer will accept input consumer will accept input will accept input but it won't return anything consumer means you just give the input it will do the operation based on the input but it will not return anything that is a consumer 
what is the difference between supplier and consumer guys can you tell me what is the difference between supplier and consumer can you tell me consumer will accept input but it will not return anything supplier will not take any input but it will return something consumer will only accept supplier will only returns okay now my requirement is my lambda expression should you take the input and do some operation but it will not print anything that's it consumer will consume the input supplier will supply the output that's it okay right let me go for consumer demo consumer demo i will give the name as a input for lambda just to print good evening for the given name just to say hi for the given name okay guys so i want to take a name as a input i want to take the name as a input system dot out dot print ln system dot out dot print ln whatever the name so here can i say my lambda is taking a input and it is just printing the output is my lambda returning anything is my lambda returning anything guys come on my lambda is just taking a input it is printing some output on the console that's it my lambda is not returning anything so here lambda is available i have written the lambda which will take some input will print some output but is it returning anything or it is not returning anything is it returning anything is it not returning anything not returning anything it is not returning anything so now should i use should i use predicate or supplier or consumer to invoke this lambda predicate supplier consumer which one i need to use to invoke the lambda which one i need to use to invoke the lambda consumer why consumer here why consumer here only input no output it is not returning anything okay so now let me take consumer input i am giving as a string c i am storing this into lambda lambda expression i am storing into functional interface reference variable c dot accept whatever the name i want to give i can supply as a input for the lambda my lambda is expecting name as a input c dot accept of ashok and c dot accept of some john c dot accept of rani like this i can call this lambda three times by using this functional interface method run this program ashok good evening john good evening rani good evening it is just printing on the console it is just printing on the console consumer sir what is this we don't understand consumer interface is there it is taking only input it is not giving any output let us see here arrays dot arrays dot as list i'm giving 10 i'm giving 20 i'm giving 30 i'm giving 40 as list i got numbers i want to print these numbers on the console can you tell me what are the ways available to print list of numbers on the console what are the ways we can print this collection numbers collection of objects one is by using for loop we know that already another one is by using for each loop we know that already 
for each loop another one is by using iterator we know that another one is by using list iterator we know that okay so now i have created one array list object one list object i created in the list i have stored some numbers there are four numbers available i want to iterate this collection now i want to iterate this collections now by using for loop you can do that by using for each loop you can do that by using iterator you can do that by using list iterator also you can do that but in the 1.8 they introduced one new method called for each method let us see what is that for each method numbers dot for each can you see the signature of the for each method what parameter for each method is expecting what is the parameter for the for each method guys can you see the method parameter for each method introduced in the java 1.8 version what that for each method is expecting consumer that means for each method developed in the 1.8 using a consumer as a functional interface that means it will take the input it will take the input it will not give anything as a output system dot out dot print ln of i that's it this is single line will print all the numbers available in the collection for each method see how simple it is see how simple it is see how simple it is do i need to write a for each loop do i need to write a for loop do i need to use iterator do i need to use list iterator how simply i am using for each method for each method will take the input and it will just print it that's it you just print it you don't need to do anything else for each method is this is a lambda this lambda we are passing as a consumer it will take the input but it will not give any output consumer as a input what is consumer consumer is a functional interface consumer is predefined functional interface it contains one abstract method that is accept consumer will accept input but it won't return anything it won't return anything note in java 8 in java 8 for each method got introduced for each method got introduced for each method for each method will take consumer as a parameter will take a consumer as parameter for each method will take consumer as parameter consumer means only accept the input but it will not provide any output see how java people maintain the naming conventions consumer will only accept input but no output that's why in the consumer they have given the name as accept supplier supplier will not take an input it will only provide the output we can just get the output from the supplier so in the supplier interface they have given get method in the consumer interface they have given accept method can i say that this is the one of the example for consumer for each Can I say that this is one of the example for the for each? Yes. Now tell me when to go for supplier and when to go for consumer. When to go for supplier and when to go for consumer? Come on. when to go for sub, sub when to go for supplier and when to go for consumer understood guys ha huh. so here consumer how many inputs it is taking guys only one input suppose i want to pass two inputs for the consumer then there is a concept called by consumer for a predicate currently we are passing only one input for the predicate if you want to pass two inputs for the predicate by predicate is available 
to supply two inputs for the consumer by consumer is available we will come to them later point of time so now we are understanding what is predicate what is a supplier what is a consumer predicate is a functional interface which will take input and will return true or false if you want to supply more than one input for the predicate then you need to go for by predicate supplier supplier will not take any input it will just return the output okay consumer consumer will take input but will not return anything if you want to supply more than one input for the consumer then we need to go for by consumer we need to go for by consumer understood what is the difference between predicate consumer and the supplier difference between predicate consumer and supplier are you clear ha huh. now i have a requirement i have a requirement retrieve student record based on student id based on student id and return that record yeah this is my requirement retrieve student record based on student id and return that record okay guys can i use predicate can i use predicate no can i use a supplier for this no can i use consumer for this no all the three interfaces which we discussed will satisfy this will satisfy my requirement will not satisfy my requirement whatever the three interfaces we discussed those three interfaces will satisfy my requirement or will not satisfy my requirement will not if i go for predicate just it will return true or false predicate what is predicate conditional check and returns returns true or false true or false if i go for supplier no input only output but i want to retrieve the student based on id i want to retrieve student based on the id so can i give the id for the supplier as a input can i give id as a input for the supplier will it accept it no okay if i go for consumer i can give id but no return it will not return anything id i can give as input for consumer consumer will accept input but consumer will not give anything supplier will not take anything will give something as output predicate will take input but only conditional check returns true or false predicate will return only true or false that's it but i want to return student record predicate will take input predicate can take anything as input predicate can take one input predicate can take two inputs if you want to pass a single input you will go for a predicate if you want to pass more than one input for the predicate there is a by predicate there is a by predicate is there any interface is there any interface which will satisfy my given requirement can we write the lambda can we call them can we call that lambda 
by using this any one of these interfaces no understand the difference right predicate it takes input takes input takes input returns to true or false only true or false supplier will not take input but it will return output will not take input will not take any input returns output returns output consumer will take input will take input will not return output will not return anything predicate will take input returns true or false supplier will not take any input returns output returns output consumer will take input will not return anything will not return anything surya kumar are you sleeping ah predicate returned ashoka predicate not returned ashok predicate checking the condition if condition satisfied i am printing ashok predicate not returning ashok you are not concentrating on the class is predicate returning anything if p dot test in the if condition i am calling the predicate that means it will give true or false if it is true then it is printing the value if it is false it is not printing why predicate will return ashok or some value predicate will return only boolean value man supplier is returning supplier will return consumer will not return predicate will return only true or false concentrate on the class buddy sona math theek hai people are asking please repeat please repeat kitna bar repeat karu bhai how many times i need to repeat please repeat please repeat kya repeat karu i'm getting throat pain by repeating these many times how to concentrate don't use mobiles when you are listening to the class join the don't join the class from mobile you will not get that interest join from laptop you need to sit properly and you need to listen to the class it's very important java it is confusing a new concept i told you complete programming style got changed in the java from java 8 even though java 19 version came in the market still java 8 having demand most of the people are not aware of the java 8 features because it is confusing for them to learn self learning is little difficult for the java 8 you have to concentrate i'm repeating every concept two to three times i'm giving example i'm writing the code in front of you still if you are not able to understand me kya karu am i executing any code which is available in the file already or i am writing the code in front of you i am writing the line by line in front of you and i am explaining that still you are not able to understand that means you are not focusing on the class you send me 10 times please repeat how many times i need to repeat man i am also i am not a machine i am a human being please understand that i am not a machine for every concept you are asking please repeat good so here i have given you a requirement retrieve student record based on the student id and return that record so here i am taking predicate predicate will not satisfy our requirement predicate will take only input and it will return true or false value supplier supplier will not take any input and it returns output here consumer will take the input will not return anything but is there any interface in these three which will satisfy our requirement is there any interface which will satisfy these requirement no not these three that's where we will go for one more functional interface called function function will take input will take input will return output ha huh. for the given requirement what we need to do for the given requirement we need to go for function function is the functional interface which will take input 
and which will return the output. Understand my point? Function interface is available. Function interface will take the input and the function interface will give the output also. Able to follow me? Right. Let me create function demo. Main method. Yeah, I want to take a name as an input and I want to get length of the name. Name dot length. Name is the input and the length of the name is the output. So can I say this lambda is expecting name as input and a lambda is giving length as the output. Can you say that this lambda taking name as input, this lambda giving length of the name as output? Yes, lambda having input, lambda having return value. Which functional interface I need to use to call this lambda? Do I need to write my own functional interface or I can go for a function? Function. Let me store this lambda into function. Let me store this lambda into function. Input is a string, output is integer. F. Yes, here generic input string name is a string, output is length of the name that is an integer. Function name and length of the name. Now, here let me go for f dot apply. What is the method available in the function interface? Apply. Let me give the name apply. Okay. So when I call this apply, it is going to give some value, right? As an output, system.out.println. When you have a lambda, which will take input and which you want to give some output, then you need to call that lambda by using function. Now I'm giving Ashok IT. So Ashok IT is an input for the lambda as a name and the lambda returning length of the name. So I'm getting seven. Seven is the length of the name. Similarly, let me go for here some HYD. And here I'm going for some such in something like this. I'm running this program. Now see three, six. Sachin having six characters, Hyderabad having three characters, Ashok IT having seven characters. So, like this, we are writing a lambda expression which is taking an input and which is giving the output. Now, can we satisfy this requirement by using function? Student ID is an input based on the student ID. It will retrieve the record and it will return the record. Based on the student ID, I can take the student ID as an input and it will, based on the ID, it can retrieve the record from the database and it can return the student record. It can return the student record. Got my point. Perfect function. Okay. Function that is a functional interface. Function that is a functional interface. So what is the purpose of a function and why we need to use it? Function is predefined functional interface function is a predefined functional interface okay function is a predefined functional interface function interface having one abstract method called apply function interface having one abstract method one abstract method that is apply it is taking input and it is giving output Okay, here interface will be available like this function, return value and input. R means return, T means input. Inside this R, apply is the function name, method name in the function interface. You can pass input and you can get the output. It takes, it takes input 
and it returns output. It takes input and it returns output. Okay. This is the example for function, functional interface. Function is a functional interface which will take the input and it will return the output. Are you clear with this? Four functional interfaces, predicate, supplier, consumer, function. What is the difference between them and when to use which one? What is the difference between them and when to use which one? Are we able to understand the difference? Yeah, lambdas and functional interfaces. Now, guys, now do you realize what is the purpose of the lambda? Now, do you realize what is the purpose of the lambda? What is the purpose of the lambda? Can I say lambdas are used to reduce number of lines of code? Number of lines of code can be reduced. Less number of code, less number of lines of code will do more work when we go for lambda. That is called concise code. Lambda expressions introduced to write more readable and concise code in the Java. Lambda expression means an anonymous function. Lambda expression means an anonymous function. No name, no modifier, and no return type. No name, no modifier, and no return type. Lambda is used to write concise code. Lambda expressions are used to write concise code. Okay, good. How to call the lambdas? Whenever you write a lambda, how to call that lambda? Can you guys tell me how to call the lambda expressions? How to call the lambda expressions? How to call the lambda expressions? Using functional interface. Lambda expression will be stored into a variable. That variable belongs to functional interface. By using functional interface abstract method, we can call lambda. What is functional interface? What is functional interface? Come on, guys. What is functional interface? Which contains only one abstract method. It is called as functional interface. Right. Can you tell me what are the predefined functional interfaces we have? Can you tell me what are the predefined functional interfaces we have? Predicate, predicate, by predicate, supplier, consumer, by consumer, function, by function. Got it. Yes. Now, are you able to understand what is a predicate? Are you able to understand what is predicate? Yes. Now, how many inputs we are giving to predicate? How many inputs we are giving to predicate? One input. If I want to supply more than one input, if I want to supply more than one input for the predicate, then what we need to use? Yes, that's where by predicate comes into picture. By predicate comes into picture. Now see here, I'm going to take i comma j. I'm going to take i comma j. I will write i plus j greater than or equal to 20. i plus j greater than or equal to 20. Now what my lambda is doing? My lambda is taking two inputs and checking the sum of the given two numbers greater than or equal to 20 or not. I want to store this into functional interface. What is that functional interface? By predicate. T and U 
both are integers only i'm passing integer comma integer by predicate by predicate system dot out dot print ln by predicate dot test of two comma three okay by predicate dot test of five comma five system dot out dot print ln of some line separation okay 2 comma 3 is greater than 10 false 5 comma 5 some greater than 20 false so when to go for normal predicate when to go for normal predicate when to go for by predicate can you tell me the difference between predicate and by predicate can you tell me the difference between predicate and by predicate Hmm. Similarly, when to go for by consumer? When to go for by consumer? When to consumer by consumer? Consumer will accept one input. If you want to supply two inputs, by consumer. If I want to supply two inputs, function by function. Okay, guys. Predicate will take one input. By predicate will take two inputs. Consumer will take one input. By consumer will take two inputs. Function will take one input. By function will take two inputs. That's the difference. Good. Okay, perfect guys. Suppose if I want to pass three inputs, can I take three inputs also? I plus J plus K. Can I take three inputs? By predicate, is it accepting three inputs? By predicate. No, it is accepting only two inputs. Two inputs by predicate. Functional interface introduced in the 1.8 version. It is a Boolean function of two arguments. This is the two RIT specialization of the predicate. So test method, it will take only two inputs, guys. It will take only two inputs. One input means predicate, two inputs means by predicate. Got it? Yes. Okay, so with this we understood what is predicate, supplier, consumer, and function. Predicate will take input, and returns a true or false supplier consumer function by predicate is there by consumer is there by function is available why by supplier not available do we have by supplier why by supplier not available because supplier will not take any input that's why by supplier is not available Take <laughs> okay good so with this we understood what is lambda how to write the lambda and what is functional interface 
and how to call the lambdas by using functional interface what is the predicate what is predicate and by predicate what is a supplier then what is consumer and by consumer what is a function and what is by function these are predefined functional interfaces we will use them in the stream api why we covered these concepts here to understand the stream api these concepts got covered here to understand our stream api okay so please practice these examples before coming to tomorrow session in the tomorrow session we will discuss about method references and constructor references in the java 1.8 once the method references constructor references optional class is completed then from thursday we will start the stream api from thursday we will start the stream api tomorrow we'll discuss about method references and constructor references okay guys good fine i want you people to practice this before coming to tomorrow's class so with this i'm stopping for today we'll continue in the tomorrow session Thank you. Bye-bye.